So what's going on team? Today we're going to do a shootout between the Personas Audiobox i2 and the Focusrite Scarlet 2 i2. That's what's going down today at Studio 214. So a few weeks back I had a major issue with my Personas Audiobox i2. Check this card and watch this video, maybe you're having the same problem. So I had to get a new interface, so I thought, why not get the focus right this time and see what the differences are, and if one, in my humble opinion, is better than the other. To eliminate as many variables as possible, I'm going to be using this Fender Strat into a ditto looper, into each one of the audio interfaces. I'm going to run it into my iPad Pro, my amp sim is bias effects, pretty good stuff, and my DAW is GarageBand. Let's talk hardware first. Very similar in features. Both have combination XLR mic instrument inputs. Each fit quarter inch and XLR cables snug and tight. Master volume, yada yada yada. Things start to get different when you turn them around. Here's the audio box rear. It's got the MIDI, if that's your jam. Two USB ports. I use the PC Mac port because I couldn't get the device port to work properly. Followed up by two and a half, uh, two quarter inch balanced plugs. Let's take a look at Scarlet's caboose. Oh, this one just guts the one port, which, yeah, works great. And two quarter inch balanced uh, output plugs. Here is the size difference. But how do they sound? Listen here. Okay, there we go. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Nice, nice. Okay, go. Okay, go, go, go. Yeah, record this. The old switcheroo. Mm -hmm. Yep. Plug everything in. Open bias for an amp sim, yeah, that's good stuff. Record that same loop through the focus right now. Yep, as your ears no doubt told you, look at the volume indicators. The focus right is sending a much hotter signal through. I had a whole host of other tests to show, but uh, they all came out the same. The differences in audio quality is imperceptible. The only difference I could tell between these two interfaces is how hot the preamps are. Focusrite is famous for their preamps, and this is why. Nice and quiet with a lot of taper and a long sweet spot. The Presonus, as you saw, not so much. It's a quieter signal with a louder max volume on playback. But you saw, three or four clicks from the max was the sweet spot, so not much room to play with. Let's take a look at probably the most important factor, and that's the cost. These prices are good as of August 2018. Hard to argue against the Focusrite, and it costs less. If you're just starting out and need everything, these bundles are pretty good. The PreSonus M7 microphone is awesome, I'm using it right now. I'm told from others that the, the Focusrite hardware is compatible, so either one is going to be a good buy if you're just starting out. The bottom line is, at least for me, the PreSonus isn't reliable. The Focusrite is. It sends a stronger signal, and it's smaller. And if that isn't enough, it costs less. So we here at the studio fully recommend the Focusrite Scarlet. And we further say, at least for iOS, stay away from the PreSonus audio box. <laughs> What's your experience? Let us know in the comments. 
In the meantime, I'm going to the house. For Studio 214, I'm Greg. Thanks for watching, everyone.